picture. Don't take my we're picture, gonna, dude. We're going to go under okay, some cheesecloth and take a look at some shade burn tobacco. The last thing we talked about <laughs> cigar. You have the uh, filler, the binder, and the wrapper. The wrapper that, that Rocky Patel uses, he wants perfect wrapper. Good, even color in the cigar, from the cap to the foot of the cigar. No white spots on the cigar, no black spots on the cigar, no green spots on the cigar. It has to be perfect, otherwise it doesn't pass Rocky's quality control procedures, okay? This tobacco here is shade-grown tobacco. 90 percent, 80 to 90% of this tobacco is going to be used for wrapper. That's a uh, tobacco leaf there. Look how big that is. Now you see the veins. We already saw the curing barn where we're trying to reduce the size of this center vein and all these larger veins off of there. Okay? In the curing process where the, uh, the leaf turns from green to golden brown, we're trying to reduce the size of this center vein reduce the size of these other veins that shoot off of it, okay? Then we want to have perfect leaf. So Rocky Patel has good quality control standards, so the perfect color from the top to the bottom. There's no white spots, no black spots, and the color is even. We have very high quality control standards. Okay? And that costs a lot of money. Okay, we reject a lot of cigars because if the wrapper is not good, they get rejected. Other factories might say yes, these are okay, we sell them, but Rocky's standards are so high that we reject them.